Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video. That's right. You read the title of what I'm reviewing. This year, it's celebrating its anniversary. Yep, of this one and only famous double-O agent, 007, Bond, James Bond. Yes. And of course, this is the movie that started it all for the James Bond movie industry. And based off of the books by, um, oh, hold on a second. Um, okay, yeah, based on the novel by Ian Fleming. And that being the first ever James Bond film from 1962, Dr. No. Yes. So, Dr. No, um, the story. Okay, so we'll start with the story, of, co of course. A resourceful British government agent seeks answers in a case involving the disappearance of a colleague and the disrupt, uh, dis disruption, disrupt, disruption, I think I got that right, of the American Space Program. And directed by Terrence Young, um... Now, Terrence Young, he, he, that name sounds familiar. Well, I don't know, probably. Um, well, uh, let's see, he did uh, Thunderball. He did From Russia with Love and Wait Until Duck. But, okay. But anyways, so this is, again, this is the movie. This is the first ever James Bond film ever. And what started it all for the James Bond movie industry? Um, of course, we all know... The first ever actor to portray Bond himself, none other than the late legendary actor, Sean Connery. Yes, he, you know, being the first ever James Bond, and, um, yeah, because, um, it's nice, you know, because with the opening, uh, for example, like the opening of the movie, because, well, with all the Bond films, we all know how Bond movies open, like, you know, they always have weird opening titles and you know they would have song numbers but seeing how this was the first ever james bond film there's technically there's none of that there's no song number or anything it's just the james bond theme playing um and um different bits of music playing as well and yeah um the rest of the cast of characters like okay there's felix um a liter if i'm saying the last name right played by jack lord uh, M, because of course we get, of course, M, uh, the, fir uh, the first actor to play M is Bernard Lee. Um, and then, of course, there's also um, the African-American actor John uh, Kitts Miller. He plays Quarrel, and he's, you know, he's him and, uh, I can tell, yeah, Felix, they are all, they're, they're on the side of Bond, of course, and, um, yeah, and also, like, there's also Miss Taro, played by Zena Marshall, and, uh, you know, Miss Moneypenny, played by Lois Maxwell. Um, yeah, this, this movie had a lot of great stuff to it. Like, I did read one thing that, there was one thing that uh, Ian Fleming said about this movie, um, and he said it was dreadful, absolutely dreadful. Uh, but, come on, I mean, it wasn't that bad. Now, was it? I mean, you know. I mean, okay, after all, this is the first James Bond movie ever, and uh, for the story that, that, the, that the studio, they chose, you know, and for this being the first movie, you know, MGM, etc., and, um, yeah... And uh, it had some, it had, of course, you know, and because that this was in the 60s, like the action sequences, you know, you gotta admit, because since this, this was, <laughs> since this was back in the early 60s, how the action was done, hey, you know, still good. Like, you know, like one car chase scene, like, you know, and Bond able to manage to get a, like, to, for, to cause this, this one car to go down a hill and be set on flames, and man, I tell you, Bond is so quick at stopping bad guys, like, you know, like this one, like, um, Uber, he was gonna, like, pull a gun out of, you know, the, um, compartment box, you know, but of course, Bond was quick at that, how he managed to, like, say one, like, 
I think it was um, Miss Miss Taro. Yeah, he managed to, you know, like, a, you know, arrest Miss Taro, and um, you know, of course, we all know Bond is a ladies' man. So him and the women in this. And speaking of women, um, like. You know, because I'm looking at the IMDb page, it's crazy that they are on the top list, but the thing is, they show up, like, half an hour into the movie, like, w when the movie reaches up to one hour. And that is, of course, uh, first off, uh, okay, aside from, like, Felix and, uh, Quarrel, because, well, Quarrel does, like, team, like, join up with Bond, you know, like, throughout the rest of the film and where he's going, uh, on this island, but, um, they come across Honey Rider, played by Ursula Andres, and Andres? Yeah, I think I got that right. And she's, like, one of the main top cast of characters in this, but, again, she, like, she, like, shows up, like, an, an hour in the movie, and, um, and another thing is, another character that shows up very later in the movie, and even, like, say, like, when the movie is near to an end, like, you get my point, that is the main villain of this movie, and his name, his name being the title of the movie, Dr. No, played by Joseph Wiseman. You know, he's the main villain, and he just shows up, like, like, half, like, in an hour into the movie, you get my point, I think my mom told me this, but it's been so long ago, you know. She told me this years ago that back then, like, villains, they they didn't really have that much screen time, you know? Like, when you look at m villains today, or even say, like, the Disney villains, okay? They had a lot of screen times. You get my point. But if, as I recall, my mom told me that there was a time, so... And I guess that's unfortunate for Dr. No. I mean, okay... Dr. No being mentioned in this film from time to time, and, you know, like, we know that because he is the main villain, and Bond is going to come face-to-face -face with Dr. No at some point, and of course he does, <laughs> as, I've, as I explained. Even, like, say, when uh, Bond and uh, Honey Rider and uh, Quarrel, they're on, the, uh, they're on this island, and basically, like, Quarrel and Honey Rider are familiar with this, like, there's, like, this dragon, basically, on the island. But it turns out it's a, like, it's a tank, like, made up like a dragon. Like, just say the eyes, and it can shoot flames, and, like, there's something on the back of the tank, you know. And unfortunate for Coral, because he gets killed on he he's He's put on flames, you know. He's just been, he's burned to death. Oh, poor guy. Um, and, um, yeah, another thing is, okay... The music, for example, as I said, like, the music's great in this, not to mention, like, since this was the first Bond film, sometimes, like, the James Bond theme would be played, like, most of the time it's, you know, da na 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 that, that bit of music. But, of course, sometimes we would get the epic, you know, da na 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 and da na da na 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 that. Well, even as of now, with the Bond films that have come out, like, they don't really do that anymore so <laughs> yeah and also that that's that, that sequence where you know bond you know comes face to face with the with this spider crawling up to him as you know as you know when he's in bed Ugh, you know and for anybody who has ar arachnophobia you know i have a feeling like i don't know maybe bond has arachnophobia like he he's afraid of spiders i mean you saw how, like, the spider, you know, goes to his shoulder and then gets on one of the, gets on the pillow. Um, and he just, like, just, just jumps out of the bed, just, you know, uh, I guess a bit freaked out. And then, like, he kind of pushes the pillow and he literally kills the heck out of it with, with a shoe. So, I guess it shows, you know, because that's the, that's the thing. Like, I think, yeah, Dr. No had somebody take the spider to the hotel room he was staying at. <laughs> so there you go. Also, um, after Bond arrests Miss Taro, um, and even say because there was flirting between them, you know, um, well, basically because um, one of Dr. No's, like, men, you know, henchmen, I should say, uh, like, coming to Miss Taro's house, and Bond knew that somebody would be coming, and, and, you know, and 
at, like, killing him, etc. And he, like, basically, like, set everything up and, like, when the bad guy would come in and, like, like fixing up the bed as to, like, you know, fooling the bad guy thinking he was sleeping or, you know... Um, and, you know, when, when the henchman comes in, like, shoots the bed, and Bond has got him, and, you know, even say when the bad guy's trying to reach for his gun, well, Bond still kills him, so, yeah. Again, because, um, Sean Connery's Bond, as I've been explaining, because he's so good, because, like, he manages to get the bad guy first, you know? Well, I mean, sometimes, you know, but, but sometimes... We all know that Bond can't always, like, get the bad guy first. The bad guys would get Bond first, you know, as we all know. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, but again, as I said, like, you know, Sean Connery, you know, he, you know, he was the best Bond, and for him being the first Bond. And so, uh, that sort of thing, because of the, the whole space thing, and, like, at the, near the end, Bond manages to cause that from lifting off, you know, launching, and basically causing that base to be destroyed. And Bond, you know, killing off Dr. No, and, um, yeah, and of course, him and Honey Rider, they escape, and a, a big explosion happens, and, you know, they're rescued, etc. And um, it's, it's pretty funny, because, you know, they they're, they start uh, making out on the on the boat they managed to escape in and um he kind of like bond kind of lets the rope go you know because of their uh helpers like the those who help helping them and towing the the boat that they're in yeah he lets the rope go cuz uh i think we'd rather stay out in the ocean for a while <laughs> so that eh, probably makes sense what i just said but you know um, I think it's obvious. Uh, but, um, yeah. James Bond, uh, Dr. No, because, yeah, for this being the first Bond film, um, I mean, okay, come on. It wasn't bad. Like, it was good. It, it is a great, it is a good Bond film, and for, for it being the first, and hey, it's in my top favorite Bond films. So, uh, there's that. And, uh, yeah, definitely, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10, because for this being the first James Bond film ever, as I said, the one th the one that started it all, and for what would come for, you know, years to come, I should say, of Bond films and different actors betraying James Bond, you name it, man. Because, again, this movie started it all, and whether if Ian Fleming thought it was dreadful and... If how how any anybody else thought how they felt about this? Well, you know, it's their opinions, and my opinion, you know, I think this is pretty good. And everybody, I, I, I there are those that do love Doctor No, so yeah. But anyways, so definitely, I am giving this again, as I said, a ten out of ten. So. And what, what about you guys? What do you think of the first ever James Bond film, Dr. No? And if, if you've seen it before, and what did you think of my review? Leave comments and give this review a like as always. So, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Dr. No. More reviews coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. And stay tuned this coming week because... Speaking of James Bond and Sean Connery, of course, um, Sean Connery, he'd be best known for being in the Indiana Jones franchise. We're coming back to that. Stay tuned for that. And for one last time, happy anniversary to Dr. No. Take care and peace out.